Hello, friends. I welcome you to my channel, Exe Graphics and Media. My name is Rafi Yaku. This channel is all about graphic design. And as far as this channel is concerned, I'm releasing a video to pre video tutorial from Monday to Friday. And the video is all about Cloud Raw graphics and Adobe Illustrator and also Adobe Photoshop. And the actual channel name is Exe Graphics and Media. As you can see on the screen here. And whenever you visit my channel for more video tutorial, all you have to do is to click on this videos icon. So when you click on this video, it's going to pop up all by pressing and the past video tutorial that you can watch and learn one or two things. You can see everything here. We have color drop tutorial, we have Adobe Illustrator tutorial, and we have Adobe Photoshop tutorial for the beginning and advanced. All the tutorial has been made in a comprehensive way. So all you have to do is to click on the video, watch them one after the other. And if you have any question as far as the tutorial is concerned, put the question in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting video in Color Draw, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop. So let's get the tutorial started. Welcome back, friends. So this is the one of my Adobe X7 tutorial series. Now today we are going to look at uh, how we can customize our workspace with Corel X7. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to go to my menu bar here. Everything at this point here is refers to as menu bar. So you, you can see here we have file. So under this file, this is where you make a new document. So you go to new. Then when you click on new, it all brought this to come so this is where you set your so yeah here it is in the dialog box so it's where you set your page name so let's say example one that's the page name then you come down here you select your page size there are a variety of custom page size in the current example what you have to do is to select the actual page size you would like or you can choose your custom uh, side. When in this tutorial, I'm using A4 as my custom side. Then every other thing, then in this case here, it's CMYK and RGB color. CMYK color simply means the printing job setting, while the RGB color simply means web display graphics. So from there, you come down here, the rendering color here simply means 300 pixels. That is the higher resolution of graphics. If you want to make a graphic that has to do with high resolution, so I highly recommend you make this of uh, 300 pixels. Then, once you are done, then you click on OK and you get to make a new page. That's the first thing I'm going to show you here. But this is not exactly where we are going to be. We're going to talk more about page layout, layout design for web graphic and for print graphic in the future tutorial. So, I'm going to close this. So, what we are going to talk more about today is how you customize your workspace all you have to do here is to go to your tools bar here when you click on tools bar you could have an options which is also known as ctrl j you can press ctrl j on your keyboard you still go to get the same thing or you go to tools and select your ctrl j so you're going to have an option here so when you get the option a dialog box like this is going to pop up here this is where you customize your workspace how do you want your workspace to look like how do you want your color to be set? How do you want the color of the layout to look like? So that is what we are going to look at today, right? So now, from the screen here, we have workspace. So when you click on this plus icon, this is simply means there are a lot of variety information hidden under the workspace. So from this point here, this is where you determine how you can customize your workspace. So now you can see here we have general. When you click on general, this is what we are going to get here. Going to have a regular property bitmap effect is two. All these things are normal, just leave it this way. Then, welcome screen. This is exactly what you have here. That is what you see in the welcome screen. So, you don't need to touch anything as far as this general is concerned. So, we move down to customization. So, when you get to customization, these are the things you're going to get. So, now other draw is asking you how to customize your stuff so you can go through whatsoever you would like to do here to you would like to customize your workspace so 
under the workspace you can see we have a plus here also this is simply means that workspace customization has a lot of hidden information under it so we have to click on the plus just to see the variety of the rest of the information okay so now we can move from one place to another let's start from command bar this command bar simply means some of the information that you will appear on your on your uh, workspace screen so all this information are necessary you don't need to touch them just leave everything that way then the commands these are the commands key that have to do with uh, if you're making use of a control control uh, of the stock this is how you, you make it so then then next thing here is color palette so under this color palette here you can customize your color row and uh, color column and uh, your color palette these are the major things you can do as far as workspace layout is concerned so under here we have the maximum palette row when docker this is simply mean the number the higher number you can add for your maximum palette color palette row so here this is the default here is on a single row that was that is why you see a single one number in the column here so you can increase it to two you can increase it to three whichever way you like it is left to you but the default one is one so in this tutorial i'm going to make it so uh, let me say four so i'm using four then here you can decide you want the color what to be you want the color what to be larger or the wider or whatsoever so you can click on this if you want it to be wider then if you want the color to be large switch you can click on this then show no color where this is simply means this particular icon here it simply means no color as far as color is concerned so you can leave it that way you don't need to touch it everything looks good so then once you are done with all your settings then you click on ok everything is going to take place once you click on ok you get to see everything down in the coil so here we go friend from the screen here you can see that we have our color palette to be in a in a four row and in a very wider border so if you want to change it you want to modify the wider border you don't want it this way it's still the same process you have to go back to your tools when you click on tools then select your options then when you select your option the same dialog box is going to pop so then you go back to your color palette which is already been set then you click on you make sure you, you uncheck the white border then the large switch you don't want it to be very bold like this then you make sure you click on this large switch once you are done then you make sure you click on ok so everything is going to go back to normal color draw color switch uh, size so if you want to go back to the normal default size it's still the same process what you have to do is to go to your tools bar here and menu bar you click on tools bar the same options then come here and type your one figure which is going to look back you click on okay it's going to go good so we can see here that we have everything in the back default setting but as far as this tutorial is concerned we are trying to do one or two experiments in correct x7 so go back to our uh, uh, this back here So we'll go back to our tools bar options then i'm leaving everything back to four from this point here and i'm clicking on okay good so one other thing i would like to show you as far as the one tutorial in for x7 is concerned is to work under the file so we go to file then we have open then we have open recent 
this open recent simply means some of the past design that I've, I have done in this coral drop, everything is going to appear here under the open recent. But if I'm to open a new coral file, what you have to do is to click on open here. So one of the things you can import here it can be JPEG, it can be Corel file, whatsoever you would like to import. All you have to do is to select the actual file you want to import, you want to open in Corel. So in this case now I want to open the JPEG file. So I will select this particular JPEG file here. Then I will click on open. Oh. Let me look for Corel X75. Okay, I'm using this Corel file here. Then I'll click on open. So, at point, so this is how you open the Corel new documents in the Corel X7. So, you can see it here. This file here is Corel file. And it is a vector correct file design in correct X7. So, this is how you open new file, and this is how you customize your workspace as far as color is concerned, and some other tips and tricks I have showed you earlier in correct X7. If you enjoyed this video, please click like button and also don't forget to hit subscribe button. And also remember to visit my channel for more interesting video. And also, don't forget to click on video when you visit the channel. Scroll down and see a lot of variety of video I've made in Corel Draw, Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching the video from the beginning to the end. See you soon. Bye.